Hey YouTubers, it's your boy Amari Points here bringing you the, new, the newest uh, YouTube vid. So today it's Halloween. Also, happy Halloween. I'm dressed as a pirate. I'm dressed as a pirate today. Uh, so today we're doing my annual Blu-ray haul because this month uh, was my birthday and I got a bunch of Blu-rays to show off that are right that are like right here. And I will be showing them off one by one. So be ready to see them. So the first one I'm going to show off that I got this month is Black Widow. Which actually was a pretty good movie. Here's the back. Um, so yeah, this movie is basically telling the story of Black Widow. Of what she was doing during, af I mean, after Civil War and before event. Captain America Civil War and before Avengers Infinity War. And this movie was definitely a good one, to, a good pickup to get. Um, let me tell you, this movie has a bunch of Blu-rays and gag reels that you will not want to miss out on. Definitely pick this up because it's a huge must to watch, especially since it's, it's in Phase 4 of the MCU. If you're an MCU fan, definitely recommend adding this to your collection. Because this is definitely one that you'll want to pick up. Also, a classic movie that I that one of my friends uh, got me for my birthday is The Page Master. Sorry about the plastic. Is The Page Master. I remember watching this when I was a little kid. It's still a classic. This is telling the story of Richard Tyler, who honestly uh, is... Uh, like afraid of everything but he is put to the test in this movie when he enters a library when he enters a library and uh, this this weird sorcerer the page master puts him through multiple tests uh, horror adventure and fantasy and he has to look to the books and with the help of his friends that are books as well they help him get home and this movie, if you honestly remember watching this as a little kid, sorry, if you remember watching this as a little kid, this is a, a must pick up, especially if you're into the classics, you're into the classics, and and uh, Michaela uh, Culkin, I can't say his name, and Christopher Lloyd are in this movie, so yes, you know it's a classic, and trust me, when you watch this movie, You'll want to watch it over and over again. I know I did. <laughs> so the other thing I got for my birthday too is The Hobbit. And again, again, another gift from one of my friends. That one of my friends got me The Hobbit, The Desolation, The Desolation of Smaug. And let me tell you, uh, this was definitely a must-watch because it's. It's definitely something that I I legit enjoyed a lot because I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. I've seen all three of the Lord of the Rings movies and all three of the Hobbit movies. I don't have the third one yet, but I'm definitely planning on getting it soon. But this one is just, wow. It's still a good movie to this day. And I for sure want to, I for sure recommend this to anyone who's a Lord of the Rings fan. Definitely pick this up and have a fun time with it. I definitely recommend this to everyone. And there's also, here's the back. Here's the back as well. Full of characters. Thorin, uh, Talia, I can't remember the other elf's name. Uh, he was played by Orlando Bloom. And uh, Bilbo Baggins. Bilbo Baggins. So yes, this also has a bunch of amazing Blu-ray special features that... You'll enjoy a lot. I sure, I sure did. Okay, on to the next one. The next uh, Blu-ray I got is Zack Snyder's Justice League, which we should have got in 2017. But instead, we got the pretty much crappy one. I still got the original Justice League on my, sh on my shelf. But this one, this one shows Dark Side who is, like, way more scarier than Thanos himself. And we get to see Zack Snyder's creation come to life in this movie. Let me tell you, 
Zack Snyder did not do wrong with this movie. He legit made this movie epic for everyone to watch. I am glad I picked this up. It was definitely worth watching for three hours. Definitely, if you honestly see this, and if you're a DCEU fan, if you see this in the store, get it. This is the real Justice League, guys. Honestly, don't get the 2017 one. Get this movie. Definitely get this movie. This one is worth getting. And also, on the back, we see the Justice League. You see the Justice League and the rest of the... And everything with their epic poses and everything, along with Dark Stephen Wolf, all of the heroes are right down here. Definitely get this movie. Definitely get this because this is a good movie. All right, the next one is The Croods. Is The Croods, the first Croods. I already got the sequel to The Croods. I actually, I, this one I enjoyed. Ryan Reynolds, Emma Stone. Seeing, seeing them, like, facing the world, like, the world is ending and everything. This is just, again, if you, once you watch this, you'll want to re-watch this as well. I enjoyed it. Some people didn't like it. They have a different opinions on, they have different opinions. But still, this was, uh, this one was also a gift from a friend that I got for my birthday. And honestly, and honestly, I loved it. I really did love it. Ryan Reynolds, all of the cast, everyone. Here's the back with all the characters. Sandy, all the Croods family, all of them. Yes, this one was a good haul. This was worth seeing. All right. All right. Here's one. I got another gift I got from a very good friend of mine. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. Hang on, I'm going to take it out the case. And yes, this one was just perfect. We got to see Frieza return, see all the cool epic fight scenes in this one. And wow, I was blown away. This I remember watching this, and it's still an epic Dragon Ball Z movie till this day. I for sure recommend getting this. If you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, get this. And here's the back with Goku and Vegeta and Frieza coming back and all the rest of them. This is for sure a movie you guys want to get if you're a Dragon Ball fan. Definitely get this movie. If you you won't regret it. You definitely won't. And all right, we got a few more to show. And yeah, the next one is the first hobby movie, the An Unexpected Journey. This, as most of you know. As most of you know, this movie takes place 60 years before uh, the original Lord of the Rings movie, and this one, it was just a good movie to watch, seeing uh, Bilbo Baggins take this epic journey, epic journey, and fighting all these goblins, orcs, and we see uh, Gollum in this movie, as most of you already know, he's right here. And there's also a bunch of bonus features in this one that you guys will want to check out. And we see Gandalf right here. He's a really important character. We all know that in the Lord of the Rings movies. And trust me, when you watch this movie, you will honestly get intrigued on how Bilbo became the hobby he was in the Lord of the Rings franchise. And let me tell you, you'll love this movie. You'll definitely love this movie. It'll get you invested in the Lord of the Rings. Again, I'm still going to get the third Hobbit movie. For sure, along with the rest of the Lord of the Rings money. I mean, movie, when I get the money. <laughs> and the other one is Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Well, as most of you know, this takes place in the near distant future. Bruce Wayne is old and Terry McGinnis is the new Batman. And this one kind of explains, we see the Joker return. I don't want to spoil it for you guys on how he returns, but when you check out this movie, this one is a definitely a 90s classic. When you pick this movie up, you'll, want, you'll, re you'll see how the Joker returns, and you'll be shocked on how it happens. And this, here's the back with Terry McGinnis as Batman. Definitely a must to pick up. Trust me, you will not regret it. And here 
is uh, we got three more movies to look at, and after that, we'll be done. Uh, here is Shark Tale. This one I remember watching as a kid. I got this movie from I got this movie for my birthday as well from my friend, and this one is just one of those movies that you you know is good because Will Smith is playing Oscar the Fish and Jack Black is playing this shark, Lenny. And I really did enjoy I, I did enjoy this movie. It's a classic, but yeah, most people didn't really enjoy it. So yeah, I can understand that. It's not really for everybody. I I, I understand that. And here's the back with Oscar and the rest of the cast, everything here. This one is just one good epic movie that you will want to enjoy and watch if you're into Shark Tale. All right, three more movies, guys. We're almost done. Here is Pixels. Uh, for video games out there, video game fans out there, you'll want to watch this. Some parts of the movie I didn't really enjoy. But it was still interesting to watch, especially Adam Sandler, Kevin Smith, Josh Gad, all of them. They were pretty good people and fun to watch in a way. And here's the back with all the characters and Lady Lisa and Adam Sandler and Josh Gad uh, fighting video game characters and Peter Dinklage as Eddie Plant, who has been a cheater his whole his character has been a cheater his whole life. His character. But all in all, it was a decent movie. It was definitely a decent movie. Uh, I recommend people checking this out if you're a video game fan like myself and see that you'll love it. Some of you might love it, some of you don't. <laughs> Alright, two more and then we're gonna be done. <laughs> uh, this one I legit loved seeing as a kid Legend of the Guardians Owls of Gahol I remember what when this came out in theaters this one was just a good movie to watch I also I also got this from a friend and guess who directed it Zack Snyder this movie was just one of the movies that I think should have gotten the sequel because there's also a book franchise on this movie and if and it, if they got it a sequel, the book, uh, the movie would have followed the books. So yes, this is one of those movies I believe shouldn't should have gotten a sequel in my opinion. And here's the back. Well, you can't really see it because there are a lot of special features on here. And trust me, when you get this movie, you'll you'll want to watch this. So you'll want to watch this because this is a classic, and this is a movie, I believe, that deserves a sequel to it. It really does, because think about it, guys. This one is for sure a movie that deserves a sequel. Definitely get this one. I, I The CGI in this movie is perfect. It really is. And we're down to the last and final movie. Dragon Ball Super... The movie Broly. This movie takes place after the Tournament of Power. And let me tell you, uh, seeing Broly in this one, he he is just one powerful dude. He, this is him right here along with Goku and Vegeta. He is just one powerful dude. You don't want to mess with him, especially when he goes Super Saiyan. But uh, this movie takes place in an alternate universe, so the original Broly uh, is just in another universe, I believe. I'm not sure how this works. I don't know. Yeah, but all in all, still an epic Dragon Ball movie, along with Resurrection F. Definitely pick this up if you're a Dragon Ball fan. And here's the back with Broly as a Super Saiyan, which is badass. Yes, definitely get this movie, have a fun time watching it, and just enjoy it, in my opinion. If you're a Dragon Ball fan, definitely pick this up. And that's it for my Blu-ray haul, guys. Don't forget to like, comment down below on what you guys got this month. 
subscribe and share with everyone you know and press the little notification bell at the bottom of my video to get notified when my next YouTube video is going to be. I will see you guys soon. Take care and God bless. Peace.